The cathode building at Giga Texas is 42.8% done, and it's already as big as a Home Depot. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Another very big week with a claim of progress as bold to match, including the extensive site prep needed on which to build a factory, this Giga Erector set is truly screaming along. A quick thanks to newest Patreon members Wally and Christopher. Thank you for your commitment to supporting the channel. And I've been getting messages from viewers saying that YouTube has been unsubscribing them, and my stats reflect that, so please take a second to double check that you're still subscribed, as this really helps out the channel. So based on the amount of steel going up each week, it's starting to look like the skeleton will be complete in another two weeks maybe, three weeks definitely. Bear in mind, the first steel counted in this tracker was only two updates ago at the end of June. It's moving so quickly because all the steel was laid out perfectly on site before getting started, so there haven't been any delays due to materials. So before we take a look at the site map, a note on the promised scale revision. I reviewed the permit again and have adjusted the dimensions of the blocks being counted to more accurately reflect the actual size. This makes the total footprint a bit smaller than last week's estimate. So let's take a look at the new and improved site map and go through it as we always do a week of a week and roll it back to the beginning to see how it's changed. The orange indicates a poured footing with the uncolored F's indicating ones that we believe will not be required. The gray indicates a frame is in place with S, A, S, B, and S, C indicating one, two, and three floors respectively. There's a light gray line where the expansion joint is in the structure. Well, this was still current as of the beginning of the edit of this video, so mad thanks to Joe Tetmeyer for allowing use of his fantastic footage. Check him out for factory deep dives of a different variety from these. So here's the progress broken down by category. Site prep is at 96% done, though it's likely higher. I did see a bobcat pushing dirt around on the footprint this week, so that tells me it isn't quite time to count it as 100% done, and it's basically a rounding error either way, so we'll just hold off. This won't update until the framing covers the entire site, which is likely coming, you know, later this month. The footings have gone from 80% last week to 87% this week as the steel frame covers the area though they're likely 90 to 95% complete. There's no footing work underway, so this number will likely only continue to climb as steel covers each area. The only progress not captured in this video is that crews have begun laying down the corrugated steel floor decking, as seen in Brad Sloan's video shot a few hours after this one. I've never secured permission to use Brad's video, so I may need to reach out to him about that, but I'll get that sorted out. That wouldn't change the math, though, since that's not one of the counted elements. So let's take a gander at the floor count tracker, where we now see a maximum footprint of 81,000 square feet, 7,500 square meters. This means we're looking at 44,000 square feet on the first floor, already framed up, twice the size of an average Michaels store, 31,000 square feet on the second floor, 2.9 thousand square meters, bigger than a bed, bath, and beyond, and 27,000 square feet, 2.5 thousand square meters, on the third floor, roughly another bed, bath, and beyond. Add them all up for 103,000 square feet, 9,500 square meters, and it's the size of a pair of Michaels and beds, baths, and beyonds about the size of one Home Depot. For the non-American out there, it's a giant hardware store where it's easy to get lost. May not sound like much, but we're barely over half done. Considering the pace of the last two weeks, the likelihood of completing steel before the end of July looks increasingly possible. There are only 15 more rows of steel to go, so even if they only got a single row per day and took Sundays off, they'd still finish by the 28th of July. Before walls and roofing can be attached, they may need to paint the skeleton, since it's been exposed to the elements for so many months. This could result in a week or two delay before we see those parts of the tracker begin ticking up, but never bet against the pace of construction in Texas or at a Tesla factory, let alone both of them combined. 
So that's it. Over a 5% jump in total completion from last week's update in the overall site total, and it's looking so good with another likely jump next week. Videos like this take a lot of time to produce, so if you find value in what you see, consider offering support on Patreon, where you get early access, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. Or just subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, follow me at 4K Podcast. I appreciate you all either way. You're the reason I'm able to keep going, and I thank you all for your decision to support the channel in whatever way you can. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? You gotta tell me in them comments or I'll just never know. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I just can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the 50% side of completion. And for those of you who stuck it out to the end, here's the little bonus to thank you for it. This is the weekly chart showing the progress of each category over each week. It's exciting to see how steep each line is once it gets going. The roof is likely to climb quickly once it starts, as it's 50% counted once attached with the balance spread out over 20 weeks. The walls closing off will rack up the interior completion slowest with 0% counted up front and the entirety of it spread out over five months, which seems to be about the right pace in Texas. There you go. Overtime bonus.